Hi guys, it's Miss Lisa, and I'm back out on the porch for Porch Time, Story Time, and I have a library book that I just got for you from the library, and you know that because there's that sticker, and it's called Three Hens, a Peacock, and an Enormous Egg. And the pictures are by Henry Cole, and the words are by Lester L. Laminac. This one, when I was at the library, I liked this picture on the front, so I was like, hmm, I wonder what this story is about. So here we go. Everything on the Tucker's farm was business as usual. The cows grazed in the meadow and the hens pecked around the hen house. The peacocks strutted by the roadside. The old hound rested on the porch watching. Then things got interesting. A truck carrying a big crate, rumbled up the road, banged through a pothole, and whizzed on by the farm. And all that noise got everybody's attention. The crate had bounced off the truck, and sitting there in the road was an enormous egg. The peacock, the old hound, and the three hens scurried down the path for a closer look. The hens flapped their wings in amazement. Good grief, Mildred clucked. Who could have laid such an enormous egg? Martha squawked. We must get it back inside the crate, Mabel cackled. It is not safe to leave it out here on the road. The hens scrambled behind the enormous egg and pushed, and it barely moved. The old hound shoved the egg with his nose, and it just wobbled around in circles. Let's try working together, said the peacock and he swept his long tail feathers against the egg while the hens gently rolled it back into the crate. The hens cheered, we did it. We have to hurry, warned Mildred. We must get this crate inside the barn before a car comes along. Everyone crowded behind the crate and pushed with all their might, but nothing happened. The hens had a quick chat. And then they turned to the peacock and the old hound. You two keep this egg safe, Mildred clucked. We'll be right back. And before long, the hens returned with two cows wandering behind them. Can you help us get this crate to the barn, squawked Martha. The cows sized up the situation and then set to work. They eased the crate towards the barn while the peacock cleared the pebbles away to smooth the path. The old hound trotted along beside the crate. Watch out, cackled Mabel. Take your time, squawked Martha. They were almost to the barn when the crate hit a bump and the enormous egg toppled out. The egg is rolling away, shrieked the peacock. The old hound sprinted ahead and sprawled out across the path and the egg came to rest against his soft belly. Goodness gracious sakes alive, cacked Mabel. I thought our egg was a goner. The animals nudged the enormous egg back into the crate. And this time, the old hound stepped in and curled himself around the egg. And the cows slowly pushed the crate to the barn. Once inside, the hens and the peacock gathered some hay for a nest. And then the cows and the old hound rolled the egg into it. Now someone must sit on this egg to keep it warm if we expect this chick to hatch, cackled Mabel. Move over, everyone, clucked Mildred. I have hatched more eggs than any of you. She hopped up onto the egg, but she barely covered half of it. Let me try, squawked Martha. I'm the biggest hen. And she struggled to the top of the egg and she squirmed and she stretched, but she couldn't cover it either. Mercy me, cackled Mabel. I have the fluffiest feathers. Maybe that will do the trick. She climbed on to the enormous egg, but she didn't do any better than the others. Mildred looked at the peacock. Perhaps you should give it a try. The peacock clambered onto the egg, but even he was not big enough to do the job. Well, I do declare, cackled Mabel. I believe our ne egg needs three hens and a peacock. The four of us will sit on the egg all day. If we do that, who is going to do our jobs on the farm? Squawked Martha. We could egg sit at night, the peacock said. Yes, let's do that, said Mildred. But who will keep the egg warm 
during the day. And all of the eyes turned to the old hound. Who, me, he asked? I don't know how to hatch an egg. Well, somebody's got to do it, clucked Mildred, or the egg won't hatch. I'm sure you will think of something. Well, then I guess I'll figure it out, said the old hound. That night, as the stars began to twinkle, the hens and the peacock gathered to sit on the enormous egg. The next morning, as the others went about their chores, the old hound headed up to the barn, because he had a special job to do. And for a while, things seemed to go well. But early one evening, the peacock found the three hens huddled around the egg in a little wad of worry. Something's not right, squawked Martha. Eggs never take this long to hatch. Maybe enormous eggs take longer, the peacock suggested. Mercy me, cackled Mabel. You could be right. We'll just have to keep at it, clucked Mildred. And that's what they did. Each night while they kept the egg warm, they imagined what this big chick was going to look like. Oh, she was thinking it's going to be a big one. And she was thinking maybe there'd be a lot in one egg. And he was thinking it would be a baby peacock. And every day, the old hound kept the enormous egg warm. Then, one morning, a crack spread across the shell. The egg was beginning to hatch. The hens and the peacock did not hear the peck, peck, tap, peck, peck, tap tap coming from inside the egg, but the old hound heard it, and he raised his head, and he howled the news, and the hens and the peacock rushed in to find him cuddled around the egg. A piece of the shell fell away, and the egg broke open. Crack! And out popped an enormous head. Why, she's as big as one of us, cackled Mabel. I've never seen a chicken with eyelashes, squawked Martha. She's a strange looking chick, that's for sure, clucked Mildred. She's perfect, said the hound. And after that, everything on the Tucker's farm did not go back to business as usual. But no one seemed to mind. And that's the end. Three hens, a peacock, and the enormous egg. And I'm wondering if you think you might know what kind of bird was inside of there. I had a guess. And you know, when I had my guess was because I saw these eyelashes. Maybe you can guess. I'm Miss Lisa, and I hope you liked that one. It's called, again, Three Hens, a Peacock, and the Enormous Egg. And I will see you next time for more Porch Time Story Time. Until then, bye-bye. Have a good day.